Hello my pretties. So today I'm doing my January favorites and I'm not wearing fake eyelashes today so that's probably why I look different. I know my friends are always like oh my gosh you look so different without your fake eyelashes. But I have not been really wearing those this, uh, this month so I'm not going to put them on just to come on here. So let's just get started. First thing skincare product that has really stood out to me and I will be repurchasing this for probably the rest of my life. It is L'Oreal Youth Code Texture Perfector Serum. I bought the serum and not the, they also have a lotion kind of product. Like an, I think it's a nighttime lotion, but I think you can use it during the day. I'm not too sure. But I bought the serum because serums are typically more concentrated. So I just wanted to buy one since this is about... $22, somewhere around there, a little over $20, and it is fabulous. Um, I use this one pump at night. I've been using this for, I don't know, a month, maybe two months, I think. So that's as far as I've gone down. I believe this is an ounce. I don't think it says on here. Yeah, one ounce. And what this has done for my skin is it has dramatically reduced the lumps and bumps on my skin. So if you have texture problems, if you have large pores, um, maybe even fine wrinkles, I think it has helped out my forehead wrinkles. But mainly for if you have, I get like little tiny bumps on my cheeks that aren't pimples. You can't really pop them or anything. They're just kind of like, I don't really know exactly what they are. They're just little bumps. And this has really helped. And I don't think it's too much of an exfoliator because it's not harsh or anything. So I'm not sure what in here is actually doing that, but it works. Um, I saw Nicole Guerrero, Guerrero, Nicole Guerrero, whatever, Nicole talk about this and so I was interested in it and I really like it. It is a good product in my opinion and I really have seen a difference, a huge difference in my skin. My pores have been reduced. I still have pores. It's not going to be you know, some magical thing but it really honestly has improved the texture of my skin where I feel much more confident in my own skin so I really am happy with that. And then I've also had really dry lips. It is the winter. I also live in Minnesota, so it's freaking cold out. And my lips got so chapped and flaky and just nasty looking. And the chapstick that really saved me is my Blistex Deep Renewal. Comes in a white little bottle like this. It's just kind of a clear, well it's not clear, but kind of clearish chapstick. And i really been liking this. It's cheap. You can get this at the drugstore. I think it's like $2, $3. Oh, I'm not too sure. But it's really cheap. Um, this is actually the only chapstick that I have ever entirely used up one before. And I now have two of them because this is my favorite chapstick I've ever tried. So that really saved my lips. I think it took maybe two days when I finally just kept applying, kept applying, and two days and my lips were pretty much back to normal. So I'm very glad I put that on my lips because they were looking bad. And then for foundation, I've been using Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear. I love this stuff. It's just one of the best foundations I've found for myself. It's long wearing. It's not drying because it is the hydrating. It says, yeah, hydrating foundation but it's um, matte but not overly matte where it accentuates dry patches. And then for the primer I've been using underneath that is the Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. This is a new product. I'm sure you've seen many reviews on it. It is comparable to the Benefit Professional or the um, Too Faced Instant, what's that called? Too Faced Instant Pore Eraser. No. That's what this is called. Too Faced. Too Faced Prime. Oops. I dropped it. Hold on. The Too Faced Primed and Poreless. Sorry about that. I had a little doot doot in my brain. So, um, 
yeah, I've been really enjoying this. It fills your pores. This one is hydrating-er, that's a word, hydrating-er, than the other two. So this is great, but I think oily skin people can definitely wear this. Um, it's just a good pore filling primer that really helps lock on your makeup and make your makeup going smooth and your skin look smooth. And then to set the foundation, the Smashbox foundation, I've been using Bare Minerals Original Foundation. I'm in the color Fairly Light N10, which is Neutral 10. And I just really like to wait for the Smashbox foundation to set to where I can touch. It's not sticky. And then I go in and I dust some of this on. And it just gives a nice glow. You look very natural, not cakey. It gives a little more coverage. It's just, I love it. I think it looks fabulous when you put it over a foundation. It's just a great powder. For bronzer, I've been using Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. I have the milk chocolate because I am so pale. It's just a matte bronzer. I think it looks very natural, easily blended, and it smells oh so good. If you go to an Ulta, you got to smell this. It smells like chocolate, like chocolate cake batter. Oh, it's just so good. This is what it looks like. It's just a great bronzer. It's matte. It's great for contouring and I do use it to bring up around the perimeter of my face and contour my nose and it looks very natural to where you can't see bronzer but it gives my face a little more dimension and it looks gorgeous. For a blush, I've been loving, what is this? Mocha Velvet, Mocha Velvet by Maybelline. It's a very natural blush. If you are afraid of blush, you don't want to look like you got rosy cheeks. You don't like people to be looking at you and be like, oh, she's wearing blush. This is a great blush. Um, it looks dark and scary. I would never have bought this. I don't know who gave it to me. It's kind of like a topier with a little bit of like pinky rosiness in it but it looks so natural and subtle that it gives your face color without it looking like you're wearing blush. I just really like it for a natural blush day when I'm not feeling like I want to be looking rosy or like I'm wearing blush. I love that. And then if I want something shimmery but I think it's still very natural but it's just a gorgeous color is by Smashbox. And I'm not sure what color this is. This is a sample. I don't know where I got this from. Soft Lights Tint. I'm not too sure. This is what it looks like. It's kind of like, um, it's got like a golden sheen. It's just, it's just gorgeous. I really have never seen a blush that has this kind of finish to it. It's just very natural, but kind of peachy-ish. It's right there. I don't know if you can see it. I have a really bad camera, but oh, it's just, it's a really gorgeous color. I don't know how much this is. I don't really own high-end blushes, but it is just gorgeous color. And then for my mascara, since I have not been wearing my fake eyelashes, simply because the Walmart by me actually doesn't sell fake eyelashes anymore and that's where I would go and run and pick them up real quick and they don't sell them anymore so I haven't gone to another Walmart or gone to a different store to go get them so I've been rocking the all natural and I've been using my Revlon lash curler and I curl my lashes I curl one side because my lashes do not curl as you can see they just are not very curly they're actually kind of long compared to like family members and friends, my eyelashes are kind of long, but they don't look like it, I don't think, on me, because they don't curl. So I curl one eye, and then I go in with this Wet n Wild Mega Length Mascara and Waterproof, and I put one thin coat on, and then I go to the other eye and curl it, and then I do that again, and then after that has dried, I go in and I curl them each again, and then I top it off with the Falsies Big Eyes. And I really like this mascara. I didn't buy this. My sister gave it to me because she actually does not like it. She thinks it's crunchy and she didn't like it. I actually think this is my favorite mascara I have right now. And the wand's kind of weird. I would 
I just, this isn't my typical mascara I go for kind of thing, um, but I really like it. I don't care for the bottom lash mascara. It gives a very natural finish, so it works. I do use it, but it's not my favorite or anything special, I think. But it is nice to have that smaller wand. And then for eyeshadow, I've been using my new palette. It's the It Cosmetics Naturally Pretty. I just got this, I think, at the end of the month, so I didn't play with it too much. And it looks like this. It is all matte shades, except for this one, which is called Transforming Pearl, which you're supposed to be able to put over the colors to make them a pearl finish. But it kind of does dilute the color, because this is fairly pigmented itself. As you can see, that was one light little swipe. It's just gorgeous. I love that color as a highlight. And I just think these, if you are into matte colors, matte neutrals, and you want to maybe even venture into some colors, there's some greens and purples and blues in here. It's fabulous. This is a great um, matte palette. And it is kind of expensive. I believe it was $42. But I do really enjoy it. And it is small pan size. Um, I believe it is 0.2, no, point oh to eight ounces per thing and then like in the naked palettes they are 0.05 so it's a big size difference and I also been using my naked one palette which looks like that my two favorite colors are smog and dark horse these two and also if you've ever noticed about these palettes that this is not bronzy toned like they say it is supposed to be Gunmetal is a denim blue. Toasted and Hustle. Toasted's a pink. Hustle's a purple. Sin has kind of a pink tone to it. And then Sidecar is kind of, I think, kind of purplish. Very slightly. So that one's kind of like, it could go either way. But Sin has definitely got pink in it. Toasted is definitely pink. Hustle is definitely purple. And gunmetal is definitely blue. So I don't think that is bronzy tone to me. But this is a gorgeous palette nonetheless. So I have been wearing that a lot. I am wearing it today. Today I'm wearing Half Baked and Smog. So. What else? I think I just have one last product. And that is my Pink Armor Nail Gel. This is an As Seen on TV product. I did not order it off TV. But I got mine at Walgreens I believe. And I got it before Christmas because they had to buy one, get one free. And I believe they are $10 per bottle. So it is a pricey clear nail polish in my opinion, but this stuff is worth every penny. I would actually probably pay even $20 to $30 for this bottle is how much I love it. And that's coming a lot for me because I am totally a cheapo. I want coupons. I want deals. I don't want to pay that much. Even though I have expensive stuff, I'm very like pretty sure all my expensive stuff I got on a sale. So <laughs> I'm very cheap. I like quality stuff, but I'm cheap with it. So for me to say that I would spend $30 on this is a lot. I have not painted my nails in eight, no, nine days. Nine days. I have no chips. My These are my real nails. I did them myself. And I have no chips. And what I did was I put two coats of this. And then I put two coats of my nail polish. And then I went in again with two coats of this. And this is so amazing. My nails are long. I'm very hard on my nails. I'm ripping open boxes every day. I'm ripping open bags. I'm doing dishes. I'm cooking. I'm cleaning. I pick at stuff, you know, pick tags off, I open pop cans, and these are my nails. I'm very hard on them, and they are actually hard nails. I mean, look at that. I'm pushing where I'm actually pushing my thumb, and it does not bend. This is an amazing nail polish. I've never been able to grow my nails like this. My nails were always so brittle. They would chip. They would bend. And when I take my nail polish, when I take this off my nails, my nails will bend right over. But with this on, my nails don't break, they don't split, they don't chip. 
It makes my nail polish last forever. I've never been able to even go three days without my nails chipping off all crazy. So for me to go nine days and I could probably go another week probably without my nails chipping is pretty amazing. So I wanted to share that. I think this is definitely, if you're trying to grow your nails out, if you're trying to protect your nails from chipping, splitting, breaking, make your nail polish last longer, go and buy this. I've never found, I have OPI nail polish, I have, you know, I've tried their top coats and stuff and Sally Hansen's Hard as Nails and Sally Hansen's the, the blue bottle that has like acrylic, supposed to make your nails as hard as acrylic and no, this works. This has totally saved my nails. They have grown, I mean, they have not broken, that's why they're so long. I don't cut them, I don't have to, this is just what they look like and it's fabulous so I definitely recommend this go and buy it so thank you so much for watching that's my little kitty boop, boop. and I will see you in my next video please let me know if you've tried any new products this month or if you what are your favorites I would love to know and I will see you next time thank you for watching bye